Hey there, Jose from Ledger Support here. Today we're going to be discussing USB connection issues. Um, today I'll be using a Ledger Nano S Plus, but these rules and troubleshooting steps also apply to the X, the S, and also our upcoming Ledger stacks. Now the first thing you really want to think about is making sure Ledger Live is fully updated. Usually there's a little banner um, at the top of Ledger Live here that'll guide you to download and install the most updated version. If there's not, you can always go to ledger.com forward slash start, S-T-A-R-T, um, download it from there and uh, go ahead and install it and replace the new version with to the old version. Um, don't download it from any other place but ledger.com forward slash start. That includes don't, not downloading it from the Android store, the Windows store, any place like that. Super important, it needs to be from our website. Um, now, um, I'm on a Mac today, but what I'm gonna be talking about also applies to Windows and Linux machines as well. Um, the, the next step is kind of making sure that your environment is set to, for our minimum requirements to run Ledger Live. For a Mac, you need to be on Mac OS version uh, 10.15 or later. Um, and for Windows, you want to be on Windows 10 or later. And then for Linux Ubuntu, it would be 20.04. So as long as you've met those re requirements, let's make sure, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, the next step is making sure that your USB is properly connected. You want to make sure it's really snug both in your computer and into the Ledger device itself. Make sure your cable is capable of data transfer um, and that it's always safe to use the cable that actually came with your device. Um, but if you don't have that, always feel free to get a new cable, but it does need to be capable of data transfer. Now that we know that our environment is set, we have our device set up snugly, we're gonna go into really the main focus of the lesson here today. Um, and it's really to determine if we have an interference issue or actual hardware issue. Um, and we're gonna be going into the system information tab um, for, for Mac, but if you're on a Windows, it would be called the device manager. And then if you're on a Linux, it would be LS, uh, USB in the terminal command. So let's get going on this here. So for, first step is making sure you're comp you're connected and that your device is unlocked with your pin. I'm just unlocking my device here. Okay. Next step is to for a Mac user, you would press Command Spacebar and just type in System Information. A window should pop up here. If you're on Windows, it would be the device manager and you can get there through the start menu. Um, and you wanna go ahead and head over to USB or universal serial bus. Let me make this bigger here. Let's see here, see how my computer recognizes the Nano S Plus that I'm using? Um, this is super important to really figure out if it's there or not. If it's not there, it's a hardware issue. So you'd wanna make sure, you'd wanna maybe try out another USB port, you maybe wanna try out another cable. Um, you could even use another computer to kinda of try to see if it's really dialed into your, your hardware or something else. If you do see your device there, then it's likely an interference issue. So try temporarily disabling your VPN, any dApps or apps that might be open, any antivirus software or an adapter, okay? Um, that's really the basic steps here. Now, if, usually if you have a hardware issue, if you don't see your device there, that typically means that it's a cable issue. Probably eight times out of 10, it's a cable issue. Try another cable, it probably will work. Um, if that doesn't work, try another cable. Um, but really give it a couple tries and you should definitely help get it to connect. Keep checking back into that system information, that device manager, and really make sure you, you know, you're testing to see if it's there or not, okay? Really, this eliminates 50% of the troubleshooting steps if you can identify whether it's there or not. Um, I wanna talk about mobile really quick. Android users can connect through USB or Bluetooth, but if you're on an iPhone, the only way to connect is via Bluetooth. So just keep that in mind. Um, as of right now, you're not able to connect a iPhone with a US, via USB to your phone yet, but we'll definitely have that coming soon. 
So really today, you wanna make sure you're updated in Ledger Live, you wanna make sure your environment meets our minimum requirements, and you also wanna see if your device is listed in that device manager or system information, et cetera. Um, if you still have issues after doing all of this troubleshooting and going through this article here, um, we do have a two year warranty on our devices. Feel free to go over to the My Order page um, and see if you can go through that device replacement process. Um, and as, as usual, you're always welcome to reach out to Ledger Support. We are happy to help you out in any way we can. Hope you have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.